so hi everyone so let's see what we are going to create today I just simply call it uh, landing explosion or landing effect so I already have a character uh, you will found this character in the description link so go and grab it so I had already animated with the help of Maxiamo and now what I have to do I have to add the effects so first of all to do that I need a plane so for that let's create a plane increase it around 500 by 500 that's cool now take a tight flow and start with this so first of all i need a birth object and add this plane and now to give it a bit width i will use shell so for shell around 1.5 is enough and its inner mount should be zero let's see it's perfect and now also i need a voronoi fracture so let's add it voronoi fracture down and I'll increase it to around 500 or something and at the bottom go over here and change the scale to around 0.8 or something and just change the point cloud points to circle I don't think it's 0.9 is good we can also increase the points so let's increase it up to 800 i guess oh, that's perfect here we have now to give this a bit wave effect what i need is i have to animate a tube so for that let's create a tube from the top it down hit auto key at this point I need this to be up like this see is it in center just put it in center that's perfect because I don't need this area to be affect I need the area out of this tube over here so what you have to do is just hit the auto key and let's see okay now at the zero frame just put it down so here we have and now i need this to be band so at the 15 frame i think just increase its Radius to be like this, and over here, just keep it like this. Uh, at this point, let's reduce the radius to this. Now, at three frame gap. Down. Okay. That's perfect. Now, just get back to the tie flow. What you have to do is you need a surface test as we are controlling the effect by the help of another object so let's add a surface test and surface test let's change this surface test type to inside volume inside and pick the tube and just take a display to see the effect so just 
drag it down. Let's see. It's looking quite good. But I need to do a bit changes. So let's increase it to if I change this to distance. Work more good. Now my effect is working quite good. What I have to do is now I have to give it a bit speed and a physics. So for that, add a speed over here. Speed and the speed is change the direction to particle z so it goes up like this but also i need it to get down so first what i have to do is just increase the magnitude to around 2 also i need the bit spin so for that let's add a rotation Also, I need a spin perfect, and also I need a bit time in the air. So, to give these particles time interval, I need a time test. So, let's add a time test. And over here, what I have to do is just change the value to around 5 or 6, whatever you want. To give it the time interval according to your choice now just like this just put it down and now I need the particle to get down so for that I have to add a physics property so for that just add a physics X and let's see So, what you will see is hide the bones. Now let's decrease the magnitude to around 1 or something and now let's add a boron fracture at this point so it's start breaking like this if I reduce the magnitude to around 0 0.8 or 0 0.5 just hide the tube there we go. Also, we can increase the fracture. So let's increase the fracture value to around 2000, I believe. Rotations just go over here and change it to around one, one, three, one, two, and that's good. So 
So here we have the effect. Grab the plane. Drag it a bit down. Perfect. Now let's see what we had created. Change the time to around infinite to 35, I believe. Five. If you need more bounce, just simply increase the uh, speed of particles. If you need rotation, just increase the rotation. Just play with the values to create your own effect. So that's so guys, that's it for today. See you in the next tutorial very soon. Thank you very much.